farm today we are working on a couple projects Tim is completely rebuilding our trailer um, he's gone ahead and taken the old boards off of the flatbed and re-welded some of the weaker parts now he is spraying it all and I am fixing to can see what it kind of looked like before on this side and that's a nice flat black if you're curious about how exactly we're doing this um, we are using an airless paint sprayer this is a Graco Magnum LTS 50 and it feeds the paint right through there into the hosing and up to the sprayer. We're using, um, this is a oil-based flat back <sighs> rust-oleum paint you can find at Home Depot. He's kind of just starting down here with some of the metal. Getting the cracks and crevices real good. And then moving on to get a nice even coat on all this. It's kind of just a sweeping motion. <laughs> Make it real nice and even. I'm not a painter, okay? It's called the tack coat. This is the tack coat. A real light coat. A real light coat. Just to get us a base. And then we can go back and figure out what needs to be evened out. This holds it. This helps hold on your paint? Yes, this, is, this gives it some grip. It gives it some grip. That way you don't have any running. All finished up. Cleaning out our supplies. Got a nice pretty coat of this flat black. Looks much better. We're going to let it sit and check on it this evening. See if it's dry enough to go on to our next step, which would be replacing the board. Part two of the trailer restoration. We are putting the tires back on. We have all our boards cut. Now we are setting them so we can come back and get all of them drilled and screwed in. So, what we've done is Drilled a pilot hole, and then we are going to put the actual, just like that, part three of our trailer restoration. be cut in half. So, now that we have all our boards placed, we are creating chalk lines. Put, put it in, in the center of the screw, back there. This one? so that we know where to drill the rest of them. 
We've got all our chalk lines, so now Tim is going to drill some pilot holes, and I'm going to follow him up with our Tech 5. Yep. Tech 5 screw. <laughs> As a recap, we went ahead and removed the old boards, welded all of the metal, spray painted all of the metal with our airless sprayer, and then went ahead and applied um, our new boards. We measured those out, making sure they fit underneath the lip on both the front and back end. Um, obviously, our lumber does not reach that full length, so we made sure to alternate um, our cuts, a short board, a long board, a short board, a long board, um, and we attached those with Tech 5 screws. We went ahead and used a chalk line to run along the angles underneath the trailer to make sure that we were actually attaching our boards to the correct spots. And we drilled pilot holes along those chalk lines to make it easier to put our screws in. One more time.